Finishing touches and conclusion. Currently we are in section 4 and we are about to check out the last video of this section. Now if you take a look at our application, currently our application works perfectly fine. But there are some flaws. For example, if you go to the detail page and without modifying anything that is without entering title and description, let us save the note. So here if you notice the note was saved successfully. But if you take a look at the note, there is no title at all. Well in the real application, this should not happen. We should always try to provide the best user experience. So for that what we can do, we can simply add a validation layer on our text field. Well I am not going to implement it myself. You have to do it yourself and take it as an assignment. Because in the previous section, we already saw the code to add validation layer to your text field by adding the form. So all you have to do is just wrap the body within the form widget and also convert the text field to text form field. And then within the text form field, add the validation layer using a validator. So take it as an assignment and provide the best possible user experience. So finally we have reached the end of this section. In this section we first covered in the phase 1 how to navigate between screens in Flutter. How to perform the asynchronous programming in Dart and Flutter by using future API, async, await and then functions. Thereafter we entered into the phase 2 where we explored how to use SQLite database in Flutter using SQFLite plugin. What are singletons? and how to use plugin such as SQFLite, path provider and also the Intel package. The final takeaway for you in this section was the node keeper application. So with this let us end this section. In the next section we are going to explore more on Flutter. See you in the next section. Thank you and have a nice day.